Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. In this video, we're taking a look at the FileMaker Server Admin API. First of all, what is an Admin API? What can you do with it? Well, back in the FileMaker 17 days, we released a free file called the FM Server Manager. And this is a FileMaker application that allows you to essentially manage your FileMaker server from within FileMaker. That's one of the things you can do with the API. It gives you full control over a lot of the attributes of FileMaker Server. For example, here you can see that I've set up a preferences area where I can tell FileMaker which particular server I'm talking to. I can provide a username and password, a version. In this case, it's FileMaker Server 18. And from there, I can get the server status and it can tell me if the server is running and I can pull the server and that will go out, reach out to the server and download all the different attributes such as the database files that are being hosted, the current clients connected or any schedules that happen to be also running on that FileMaker server. So pretty powerful stuff. In addition, it shows you things that you can't see with the admin console, things like extended privileges. So here's a list of my FileMaker files along with their extended privileges. This just isn't possible in the current admin console, the traditional admin console incorporated into FileMaker 17 and FileMaker Server 18. This particular file is released free for the taking. It's open and unlocked for you to explore. And within this file, not only will you have the option to control and manipulate FileMaker Server in the way that we've outlined here in this actual file, it's a full featured FileMaker file that allows you to do that. But in addition, you can go under the hood and check out some of the scripts we've written and see exactly how the API works and how we talk to the API. So it's really a learning process just as much as it is a practical application. So join us on our course at Productive Computing University. Come check out this file and some of the things you can do with FileMaker Server 18. This works with Cloud, FileMaker Cloud, as well as traditional FileMaker Server. And it does support the older version as well. So FileMaker 17 Server as well as FileMaker 18 Server is supported. Thanks for joining us on this video. Stay tuned for more. Feel free to subscribe if you like this content, and we'll catch you on the next one.